Did you ever snoop through your parents' things as a child and absolutely regret what you found to this day? What was it in it they ever find out? NSFW My parents got divorced when my dad was caught cheating on my mom a year. After the divorce I went to visit my dad in LA when I was about 13. I decided to snoop through his bin of floppy disks and found a very long story he had typed out during the divorce. In it he describes graphic sexual acts with a new woman, how his life would be easier if my mom was to suddenly drop dead. Specifically that he would fantasize about the police showing up at his door to tell him my mom was killed in a car accident. I also learned how his AOL name that he'd been using for years is actually just an inside joke between him and his now wife about the length of his dick. He still uses that name to this day. He did find out that I saw it and he explained that at the time of the divorce he was seeing the therapist who told him to write the story. I think it was meant for the therapist to read and gain some insight into what my dad was going through. What was the AOL name? Microsoft. I spent a lot of time in closets as a child. My favorite place to be, in the back of our cedar closet, I found the Santa suit, wig and beard. Childhood, not NSFW, but damn. Renting is for chumps. Your dad was smart enough to buy it and invest in something he could wear every year lol. If I have learned anything from this thread it's that he did not just wear it once a year. He probably bought mommy some presents from his sack throughout the year. I ended up finding a quite kinky vibrator, dildo in my grandma's possession. That was six years ago but I still have the image seared into my mind. I found typed letters from my dad to my mom in my mom's room this year. They had been divorced for a couple years at that time and the letters said some pretty horrible things about her and about how we were being raised. I'm assuming she was keeping them in case she needed them in court. Or possibly to remember what an asshole he was in case she ever felt herself backsliding. Oh my god, yes, I was a- wasn't really snooping through my parents' stuff or family photo albums. Particularly with mine and my siblings as babies. First, I got to my brother's. It was so colorful and bright and filled with notes written by my mom as year. Same with my little sister. Then I got to mine. It was boring to say the least. Just plain pictures with no notes or stickers or whatsoever. Then I got to the last page. I remember the exact verbatim of what I read in this small piece of blue sticky paper written by my mom. Is there any more I can say? No, because we really wanted a baby girl. An eight-year-old boy bawled that day. How'd he write that in the fucking family photo album like you or someone else isn't gonna see it? I'm sorry, op, this one stings. Hope you're doing okay now. The Joy of Sex book illustrates some of those hand-drawn pictures. Oh no, my poor innocent childhood brain. I also found this book when I was a kid. Instead of being disturbed, it became my secret porn. My dad's journal from before I was born. He was so incredibly depressed. He talked about how my older sister cried on her way to kindergarten and it was the first time he'd been able to relate to her in years. Totally broke my heart. I've never told him though. That was definitely not meant for me to read. That sucks, man. Depression is a hell of a sickness. I hope he's doing better. My story is similar. My mom's always been depressed too and one time I read her journal. Ten-year-old me was not prepared to read about her battle with suicidal ideation and all the ways she would kill herself if it weren't for us kids. Shook me to my core and I couldn't even begin to process it. You can bet I've never opened her journal since. Depression is pretty terrible. I think he's doing a lot better now though. That was a particularly rough time for him as year. That's horrible. I'm so sorry. I think I was about 15 when I found my dad's journal and it was rough even then. At 10 I have no idea what I would have thought. My dad's wasn't current, obviously. But he did talk about how he felt conflicted because my mom wanted more kids and he didn't think he could handle it.
It was strange knowing how painful my childhood was for him this year. My memories of it were so good. Hope your mom is do your mom is doing better as well. Me and my brother found a stack of about 50 Playboys in my dad's closet when I was 13. It was awesome for about a year till he discovered we had been messing with them and got rid of them this year. Then we were all out of porn again but it was a very educational year. My dad has had a subscription to Playboy since probably before I was born in the early 80s. They were always in the bathroom to read, he still gets them every month. I grew up reading them, and didn't understand why my friends thought it was so funny I thought all parents had that kind of stuff just around the house. He kept a lot of them in boxes in the attic. I'm pretty sure he saved a lot of the real old ones. They'll be my inheritance I guess. My parents are hoarders. My dad also had a Playboy subscription for years. I was about seven or so when I finally realized inside the wall rack of saved magazines in the basement. There was one shelf that was just Playboy. I finally got caught one night with some and my mom made him move them I'm pretty sure. I knew he wouldn't get rid of them though. I found where he kept them in the garage later and they became my stash until high school. I could keep five or six hidden in my room and just rotate them out every so often. To think the efforts we went through to see a few titties as a kid. Times have certainly changed. I found my paranoid schizophrenic father's diary full of rants, including him accusing my mother of adultery. It was just a sad and messed up, a really awful peek inside his mind. I knew he was sick, but to get that honest a look inside was far too much for a 10-year-old. I admitted to my mother what I found. When I went back to look at the notebook another time, I saw she'd ripped out all the pages. When I was a kid there were no such thing as cell phones and we didn't have magazines so going to. The bathroom was pretty boring. One way I used to entertain myself was by playing with a round piece of rubber that sat a day in the medicine cabinet. I would poke it, stretch it, spin it on my finger. Wasn't until several years later during sex ed that it suddenly dawned on me that I had been playing with my mother's diaphragm that whole time. Oh my god I did this too, but it was because my parents kept theirs in the shower that we all used and I thought it was a bath toy. In hindsight I'm so glad that I didn't damage it and accidentally get myself a sibling. I found my letters to Santa hidden in my parents' socks, in a thread of porn, dildos, and other NSFW things. Your story is cute and heartwarming. Well thank you, it was a heartbreaking moment though. Oh and a little context. My friend was overnighting at my house and my parents weren't home so we decided to see if they had dildos, condoms etc. In their dr just thought it might make my story fit better. After my dad passed away, I searched through the browser history on his computer. Tons of porn and websites for ordering black market Viagra. I didn't personally regret finding it, but I know my mom would have. So I deleted the history and never told her. Reminds me of the medical alert bracelet that says, delete my browser history, instead of diabetes, or epilepsy, etc. I found a riding crop in my parents' wardrobe. I was like, when the fuck did we get a horse? Edit, for everyone saying my dad is hung like a horse, he is. I was unlucky enough to get my mum's dick. Look, maybe it just died before you were born and they just kept it for sentimental reasons. This is the kind of reasoning I try to do in my head when I found my parents' suspicious things. I once found lube and was really shocked. I concluded that they used it for back massages. But deep within my 11-year-old self knew what it was really for. I was going through my dad's hockey bag, found his cup, thought it was a face mask, it wasnt till I saw the horrified look on my parents' face that I realized it's not for your face. Edit 1. A cup is a piece of plastic, vaguely shaped like a penis and testicles would, that fits inside a jock strap to protect that region from damage. 
Edit 2. Glad to see other people do it as well. It lessens the shame a bit. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Are you, cock and ballsman? I found my uncle's suicide note which revealed, which revealed a lot of shit about my family I didn't want to know. When I was like 11. Damn man that can be some traumatizing shit. Kind of but I read it and didn't say anything to my mum and then pretended I'd only just found it. For the first time when I was around 13 and asked her about it then. So really I had a few years to slowly process what it meant before getting the answers I needed. Found some old nudes of my mom when I was like 11. I didn't realize it was her at first, man I have never lost a boner faster. I hate to ask, but at what point did you realize? I'd say about a minute in, I flipped it over and there was a note on the back. It was an artsy wide angle shot so it wasn't obviously her. Found a letter about a kid my mum gave up for adoption when she was 18. Weird to think my mum had a whole different life before I came along when she was 27. My sister snooped in my mom's journal when she was about 13 and found that my mom had also had a child at 18 that she gave up for adoption. I found out by snooping through my sister's diary person shrugging light skin tone female sign.